What up, y'all? This is Jake Hernan or Keto Quad. I am uh, going to be doing a vlog of essentially my journey to the wheelchair, first quad wheelchair division in the MPC down in Florida. And uh, I'm super stoked. It's going to be quite a journey. And I'm doing it ketogenic on a ketogenic diet. So. Keto, AF yow. Thanks, Jason Whitrock, for that right there, Carly. <laughs> um, yeah, I definitely want to thank Jason and Goody Beats for helping uh, inspire me this last weekend at the keto meetup to in here out here in Denver to start my YouTube channel and uh, do my blog. Um, it's gonna be an awesome journey, and I'm gonna just update people on what I'm going through, the challenges like being a quad and uh, being keto at the same time, and um, challenges, but also the good things. Um, and really try to inspire people to do a ketogenic diet, because I think it's one of the best things I've done in my life to really emotionally and physically I feel great I, I love it and uh, all the people I've helped inspire to get on it have seen awesome results so yeah I'm just here to share so yeah I'm a quadriplegic um, I would get into my story but it takes a while so if you want to just link back to my original YouTube videos I've that's when I originally started doing my YouTube was right after I'd broken my neck. But uh, it's very genuine and very raw. So it'll be good to kind of see what I went through, I guess. Um, but I've been injured for three years. And I work out at a SCI Recovery Project, which is a gym set up basically for adaptive exercise. So I do a lot of my lower body function stuff. And then I work out my upper body in their open gym. So that's what I'll, I'll hit there every day. Do the FES bike for cardio. Um, and then also build up my leg muscles. And then I'm also doing uh, quad rugby or murder ball. So I'm working out with them. And I push about four times a week push for three hours and uh it's it's fucking amazing it's so intense uh and the it's a one of the only full contact full contact sports you can do as a quad so it's it's a ton of fun i'll show you a little bit of it but the biggest reasons i'm on a ketogenic diet is because for me my being in a wheelchair it's very hard to like push with a lot of extra weight so I'm being as lean as I can and as strong as I can. Um, one of the things I really loved about a ketogenic diet is that it's, you can lose weight, build muscle, which is mind blowing to me because being uh, somebody who's dieted for <sighs> shit, seven years. Yeah, so I started my first bodybuilding show right out of high school. Um, and I've literally, it's become a habit, just always dieting and finally having something that I can be lean and strong at the same time is amazing. And, uh, I actually, it was about six months before I felt I, my performance started to increase and actually not plateau anymore. And, uh, my endurance is through the roof. I can, I can literally, literally work out all day and, uh. I feel good, but it's, it's an amazing thing. And not to mention, it's pretty easy to meal prep. I'm not hungry. I, I get to eat fats all the time, meat, you know, green vegetables. It's a very healthy feeling. Um, it, in the beginning, it did take a little while because you're, you know, if you're eating fats, it's like blowing your mind. You're like, oh, I'm going to have a heart attack. But... No, it's uh, it's good, and some things I will go over on this channel uh, for 
people who are quadriplegics is like the challenges. So like putting on muscle is a huge challenge. Um, atrophy, so losing muscle is a huge challenge because I, I went from just right after my injury, 200 pounds to 140. And then I'm up to 165 now, three years later. And it's crazy, like just how hard it is to put on muscle and how easy it is to lose it. So you gotta keep on it, you gotta keep in the gym, um, preserving, you know. And uh, there's a lot of ch challenges we face as quadriplegics, but everybody else has problems too. Like, what the fuck? It's okay. It's ours is a little different. There's not as much information on like what to do and how to get over it or not get over it, but to, to handle those challenge challenges. And uh, that's one reason I started, I'm starting this video is because people need tools to help them, you know, and uh, need to see people who are doing well in their same situation or even people who are in the worst situation doing well. You know, it's like, just got to take that and use it because we're all here to inspire each other. So, hell yeah. But I'm going to end on that note and I look forward to throwing up some progress pictures, I guess, from where I am right now. And then as we go along, like probably once a month or whatnot, I'll show you guys what I uh, look like in my first two bodybuilding shows. And then my third, which was in a wheelchair. And then, yeah, just do the progress picks as we go. But all right, y'all. Love y'all. Have a good week, life. Hopefully I see you again. Bye.